YouTube. Oh, my makeup got messed up. We are going off base for the first time. We're going to Miss Beetle Plaza. We went there for a culture day tour. I'll link that video up above and I'll put it in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. We're gonna go to the plaza. Supposedly they have a farmer's market there a couple times a month at 9 a.m. It's our first time off base with our new car because we just got the car yesterday. We'll see where this little adventure takes us. Are you nervous to drive off base? It's a little nerve wracking. A little nerve-wracking to drive off base when people don't know that you're a new driver. Devin didn't get the little magnet. Cold today, not as cold. It doesn't feel as cold as yesterday in the parking lot of our complex. Let's go. Here's another WRF door for me because the keys doesn't work. This is what the car looks like. Put the bags in the back, in the trunk. We're not using all of them for the farmer's market. There's our trunk. It's pretty big. Let's get in. During the culture day, I got a little souvenir. A little charm to put in the car for us. It's really pretty. And the guy said it's to help with road safety it's like to protect it's a protection charm it's really cute it has little birds on it and then i have my broom my apple cinnamon or apple orchid broom that i saved that i got from sprouts back in the states where you want to put it right here on the mirror I think this is the Vito Plaza. I see vegetables. Put some vegetables. Look at all those, that lettuce. Whatever that is. Apples. Not vegan, probably. Plants. You know what's happening. You know what's happening. Konnichiwa. Sweet potatoes. Grapes. Why do those grapes look funny? Beans. Apricots. Rice. Tomatoes. Honey, maybe? Cucumbers? They're so little. You know that the they're grown. Mm -hmm. Those are persimmons. What are these? Tomatoes. For sure. These are tomatoes. Those are persimmons. A bunch of things from the farmers market. It's super exciting. We got lemons, cucumbers. We got tomatoes. We got what else did we get? Bananas, grapes, and I'll show you everything. And it was 20 bucks, and this is homegrown vegetables. All this, how much do you think would cost us at the commissary? Probably a hundred dollars. The commissary is super expensive for one stalk of celery. It's about three dollars. I'll show you guys a food hall, farmers market food hall. Once we get, and we're here in front of Ashi. It's a a uh, supermarket, I think. Was this a supermarket? I, think so. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. No. Exploring. Now we're at Universe. It's a Japanese supermarket. And then they have Home Ec. Home Ec is like a Home Depot, I think. No. Yeah, it's like a Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Home Ec first? Oh, it's like a craft store at the same time. And my battery's dying. Oh, yoga mats. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, I want one of these. A rebounder. It's really good for moving the lymphatic. It's like a Walmart. Plants. Got lots of plants. I'll buy a plant. 
Oh, look at this little tree. All the misos. I think this is miso. Miso paste. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what we got at the Nine Market. That's what they call it here on base. I don't know if that's the actual name of the farmer's market that we just went to. It's called Nine Market because every nine number in the month is when they have the market. So today is November 9th. Now I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we got for $20. And I was jokingly saying it was probably $100 in the commissary. It's probably around $60, but that's still a lot of money for fruits and vegetables. I'm gonna show you what we got for 20 bucks. We got a a lot for $20 in my view and I loved experiencing the farmers market and now that I have like an idea of what they sell and stuff next time we're gonna get a lot more from the farmers market so first up we have these two cucumbers this was two for a dollar so they were 50 cents each so that's a little expensive for a cucumber being that they're so small usually two for a dollar cucumbers in America they're a lot bigger they're super cute super little so we got the two cucumbers. We got two packets of mushrooms. I don't know what kind of mushrooms they are. Actually, I could look it up. I have the Google Translate app, and when you download the Google Translate app, you can have the camera and scan the products, and it'll tell you what the products contain or the name of them and stuff. I just downloaded it. I don't know what kind of mushrooms these are, but we're gonna try them. We use mushrooms throughout the week. Japanese do like to wrap a lot of their vegetables, unfortunately, in plastic saran wrap, which is kind of disappointing, but it's this how the state does it. I think the country. <laughs> how the country does it. So these were a little bit pricey. I'm not sure how much the mushrooms cost. We got two packets of those. We got a thing of bananas. We got nine lemons. There's more lemons on the counter. We got nine peaches. And I'll show you like an overview of everything that I have on the counter. That's a lot of peaches for everything being $20. We got two things of red grapes. They come in these little containers, which is actually cute because you could put this in the fridge just like this. And I believe this was $5 for both of these. Then I got small little cherry tomatoes. I believe they're cherry tomatoes. They're like super tiny. I've never seen tomatoes this small. I'll give you like a little view of what they look like. Look how tiny that is. Literally everything is really super tiny. Like even the furniture and stuff. We saw this cute little couch that we're gonna buy eventually for the guest room so that Devin has a little couch to play video games because that's where his TV is going. Now we got three bags of carrots and this is like a lot of carrots and they're like mini carrots that's so cute we got a lot of carrots because i'm gonna juice all of these so next time we'll get a lot more but now that we have like an idea of what to expect at the farmer's market i can figure out what i would need and like what we would do and everything okay now i'm gonna show you what i bought at the universe and universe is a japanese supermarket here in misawa first up i bought these vegetable packet i recognized this right here which is lotus root we actually use i've actually tried this several times in my nutrition class in acupuncture school there's a lot of health benefits with lotus root and then i looked up what the rest was in here so there's carrot there is red bean i think or it's some japanese bean that's in here we have burdock root in here but there's a lot of different vegetables that you normally wouldn't see in a regular american market then i got this tofu cream i believe it's tofu cream i looked up and translated it you could use this in hot or cold so you you could use this in soups or you could use this in dessert. And I've actually seen a girl on a YouTube channel, she had like tofu cream with fruit and stuff. So that's why I got this to try it and see if I would like it. Then we got this peach fruit drink here. I believe it's fruit, I believe it's peach, but it has everything else. I didn't look this one up. I got one avocado. I got this wheat noodles to make like miso soup and different soups. And along with that, I got shiitake mushrooms because shiitake mushrooms, I know these are shiitake mushrooms because I know what they look like. They're so beneficial for you guys. I got Japanese sweet potatoes. They actually were cooking them in the supermarket and they smell delicious. Everybody says Japanese sweet potatoes are really good. 
So cook this in a future a future video. Also, I'll share with you what we got from the Vito Plaza the last time we were there. Well, actually, we got it at the fish market, but I got these Amari apples. Amari is the prefecture that we are in, and they're really known for their apples. Even when we were at the farmer's market, there was a ton, ton, ton of apples. It's actually perfect for the fall season to support your lungs, keeping and um, boosting your immune system. So eat a lots of apples and pears. I have a pear here too. I need to eat because it's going to is an overview like all these peaches all these lemons grapes tomatoes all this stuff we got for 20 but 21 dollars because we bought the cucumbers somewhere else and then i got this cute pothos plant from homac and homac is actually a it's kind of like a walmart ish more like maybe target like a store like that it's not a home depot kind of store so we're gonna hang this up eventually and then this is all the stuff that we got at the japanese store